All right, fellas, what is up? We are back with some more Lord of the Rings Third Age for Game Boy Advance. Today we're playing Flight from Moria. This is the level that takes place right after oh well, something happens to Gandalf, and they all have to cross the Bridge of Durin. And there was the Balrog. Fortunately, there's no. Sorry. Unfortunately, there's no Balrog in this game. That would be incredible. But there's none. There, the game is seriously lacking in like big monstrous animals. You'll see. But uh, this is my second time recording this because uh, some audio issues last time. Go figure. Audio issues on my channel. But yeah, flight from Moria. So let's let's take a look. So. Breathless and beaten, the Fellowship escaped the mines of Moria, but there was little time for rest. Aragorn was adamant. By nightfall, these hills will be swarming with orcs. And that's when Boromir, oh no, Boromir right before would say, give them a moment for pity's sake. I've seen the movies many times. Yet no sooner had the warning been spoken than the hills began to thicken with the hideous faces of goblins and trolls, but the Fellowship was not alone. Such a fun idea for a fight that never happens in the movie. Yeah, we have elves in this fight and we have woodsmen in this fight. In the battle last 20 turns, we get six points. Uh, we don't need to do that. We can probably wipe them all out. And defeat Hero Cape Troll is two points. You know, first, let's just... Because last time I recorded this, Boromir, uh, he died. Let's give him that King's Foil. Uh, let's see if Gimli has his items. Yeah, I could. Gandalf, what about you? We're good. This, this level is, is good for, like, capping. To, like, finish off your things. Greatest stone fortification. The stone fortifications are greatest allies. Use a stone to protect your ranged units. Use these structurals down from afar. Um, that's not good advice. It's actually kind of bad advice. So we're picking the tanks. So him there. Him there. Him there. So I gotta remember to use his defensive stance as many times as possible. Okay, glad he's doing that. Now the troll's not gonna be able to attack first turn. I know because I played this once and Boromir died. And I was totally gonna use that cut for the game, but for audio reasons. I'm re-recording this. I was totally ready to grind with AMR for a level. I haven't shown you guys AMR yet, but I was fully ready to just buckle down and get it done. So that's three damage already. This is a pretty good roll in terms of moves. So let's um We gotta make sure Gorbag gets taken care of. Cause he will move over to the left. We gotta be careful about that. We'll just split these guys apart. Do as much chaos over here as possible. We don't need this side getting another hero, because their strength is in their Massive numbers. I don't know. This goblin wasn't there last time. Maybe it was a glitch or something. That's it. I swear, these guys will disappoint you. I could keep Pippin in here. Which. I've had worse ideas. Yeah, basically, we're killing this troll as fast as possible. And I won't be able to use defensive stance, so he's going to take a massive hit. Uh, I'm not going to use King's Foil yet. Famous last words. Okay, so I absolutely need this goblin gun. So he has a uh, glam drink right now, which is a really, really good item. He doesn't have end water. Oh, he does. Excellent. That little attack bonus is going to be good. Now we can split Gimli off once this troll is taken care of. He's going to focus on Boromir, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're gonna need the command points on this side Or do we actually I think I'm moving to the right Most people will move to the left. There's actually a little staircase down the left that I've Seen not that many times. Oh jeez. Oh Man, oh my goodness Look at that that troll's a beast. I'm gonna heal him up everything. For everything he has. Now, you could move Pippin down to the left. Keep him there. First things first. Go 
good as new. Just as we need him to be. Perfect, it couldn't be better. Well, it could be. Believe me, it could be. No move on that side? Okay. Now, th the reason we need Pippin over here... That is Pippin, right? Yeah, it's Pippin. Is because, like, we... We need... Gorbag to die. Because he, he's... He's an evil hero, and evil heroes aren't that good. But... They're definitely better... Than... Just, like, nothing. Seven damage is good. All right, get him. And we pop defensive stance, so nothing's gonna touch him for a few turns. Can't let him get flanked. There's a, when you reach the level in the third movie where Osgiliath gets invaded by um, Gondor when they're trying to reclaim it, the strategy for the bad guys is you bottleneck them, and it works super well. Look at that. Perfect. It's crazy how, like, one little change, it's just the king's foil. Just sets us, sets us up for good stuff. A uh, second move on this side would be useful. Oh, that's good. I like just the little mobility you add to those moves there. This guy's gonna wipe and clean. Literally don't even use the, use the, it's, it's just the point. Just use blinding light. I can't, that's okay. Gimli's gonna be fine. He has good enough morale to survive a round. The thing with Boromir is he got stun locked. He wasn't able to hit him anymore. Alright, so he has defensive stance up. So he did his tanking, so he can only take so much more. I think after a couple kills, he'll get his items back, hopefully. Alright, Woodsman. He probably won't get this kill. But he'll... Awesome. He'll definitely distract a Gorbag for another round. This might be a longer... A longer game than the last time I played this. Because before we put Pippin to the left. But... You gotta play this defensively. It's not about trying to speedrun it now. There are people out there who will speedrun it, but Boromir is such an important hero that like you just can't... Give him up like that. If you could avoid it. Miss? If he just would have missed, he would have taken a second hit away. Alright, he's bringing him up there. That'll be fine, we can deal with him. We got enough guys. Goblins are just such garbage that it doesn't matter. You kidding me? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. He's not even gonna post through. There's that five damage. Beautiful. That's blinding light. It's not there yet. Perfect. You seriously gotta drive them in. I mentioned this in the last time I played this level, but this soundtrack for this level is so good. It's it's a harder song to recognize, but I just love it. It's so pretty. I don't even remember if it's in the movie or not. It's gotta be if they took it and put it in the game. Hope you guys aren't hearing my mouth movements. That's what they call it in uh, the film world, mouth movements. I am a film student, so... So... Means I'm better than you. That's what, uh, that's what the kids call a joke. It's not what the kids call a good joke, but it's what the kids call a joke. I actually know next to nothing about movies. Except everything about movies, because I'm the smartest person on the planet. 
see this is an interesting tactic it's sort of a combination of reverse psychology and just straight up convincing to confuse you so that you believe it obviously it's foolproof you know Pippin has stealth and it's, it might be worth using use evasion If you use ev Are you kidding me? If you use evasion, you deserve to lose. I'm not gonna use a king's foil. I need to kill that chief though. Uh, unfortunately, taste my light. I wanna focus everything I have on him. Because if they have no hero, they're not gonna be able to recover. He's probably got like 24 health. Beautiful, so it's 12 damage. So we probably got like... Oh, I already moved him. Alright. So I'm kind of blanking. Yeah, Gandalf will take it. Gandalf does... He's a strong hero. <coughs> Yeah, I couldn't use defensive stance. There's that little crevice right there on that rock that actually works pretty well as a little defensive position. Yeah, go ahead, kill him. I don't need him. Thank you. He's annoying me anyway. Yeah, Freeman's going out left. I'm tired of not being able to... Okay, let's just... He has lower health, so four damage could get him. On Earth, yeah, that wasn't gonna kill. I love when you take like a normal, just little scrub dude and put him on like a super amazing position. It's like, well, now you can't kill him. There's literally no way. Everything will do one damage. There's this part playing the bad guys in the Helm's Deep level where you can take everything thrown at you with one Urukai for like a turn straight. Ooh. Kinda wanna risk it. Oh, nice. Oh, four. That's so good. The trick is to keep those guys bottled up up there. Because if you can't let the cave troll spawn again. Oh, this is about to be good. That's good. That's really good. I'm probably gonna move Boromir to that side. This was my original goal. Is that gonna be not good enough? Yeah, those other dudes will be able to take care of uh, the rest of the god ones. There's like what, four? Four, yeah, they're fine. Then there's that one and those two. Probably gonna move Gimli to the one side. Gandalf doesn't need a level up anymore. Honestly, if they spawn a couple more goblins, that's fine by me. I need the points. This is an interesting strategic decision here. Oh, especially coming down from that. Because right now, I think they're outnumbered. The, which is kind of rare. They're not normally outnumbered. They're trying to shoot Pippin. We'll never get him. Not when he pops stealth every, every other turn. Really just two moves. It's rare. But no moves on this side. Yeah, I really wanna start using this stuff. It's going. There we go. That's good. Ooh, but Gandalf does have Inspire. Which he cannot use. Whatever. Uh can we there? Moving Gandalf to the left could be the good decision here. All right. Yeah, it's not good enough. Can you get into melee? Good. 
we're gonna need as many people up close as possible for when Boromir gets here because he can give us an extra potentially four command points please throw your dudes into me I'll just catch him Gandalf over here all right that's gonna do nothing you gotta be a little careful because eventually I think around like turn 10 which we are fast approaching they spawn another cave troll and if I'm not in the right position to take him it can be very bad uh, you know he will survive a turn so I might just want to get up here and shoot this goblin it might be a mistake but next turn I'll be in the melee range so I'll move him to the left it'll be a good time yeah, this guy can take on the goblin up there Five damage? So good. That's what we needed. Let me get three moves up here. So they get. Come on, Gimli. Perfect. Even when he doesn't have his whetstone yet. If that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Yeah, I know there are a couple inaccuracies towards weaponry in this movie, especially Witch King. Okay, I need you to uh, live, so uh, yeah, do that. There's no reason to use blending light, so you know what? Let's just uh, do that. Just any damage will work here. If I remember correctly, his morale is just good. Really? Yeah, they like doing that. Just taking it. Don't go red. Perfect. Oh, there's the four moves. Let's give that to Gimli. Uh, but... So I just need you to hit. Maybe... How's that? Nice, I'm using the strategy. Glad this game likes to waste my time. Let's let's try this first. He might run away. Guess we just need three damage. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted. I got a hole up here again. Beautiful. I don't even need to use defensive stance. He'll be fine. Just advance. That's it? Really? I could just try and shoot that goblin. There's no reason though. It doesn't matter. Not at this point. Say so they got him. So that goblin's gonna move next turn probably. And that goblin can't move. So we're doing okay. Unless they spawn. Okay, we're good. We just... I think we won. I think we won. I think we won with Boromir alive. Dang, I've never seen Boromir have that many moves. In such a short amount of time. You know what? See if we can do this. So he has. It's a bit of a risk, but I need just like one or two damage. Okay, so he's two health. Oh, yeah. Good. That'll kill him. Unless I have the world's worst screw up. That'd just be embarrassing. It wouldn't even be like that much of a detriment to my ultimate strategy here yeah I got five moves he'll get him kidding me at least we got Gandalf come on Gandalf maybe he'll run in the other direction ok 
could use the ant water. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Lemma's spread, good. Oh, I'm glad that's back. Oh, this is terrible. If I use evasion with you, can you reach him? Can't even use evasion. <sighs> Alright, I just gotta make sure they don't... Hopefully they don't spawn anybody. Yes! Here we go. Let's get it with Boromir. He earned it. Welcome back. I didn't even check if dude spawned over there. This game. Awesome. Oh yeah, because Gandalf has the most points there. He. All right. I could just save my points, both of them, so I can get Glenn's axe. I might have to research that. The brooch is a good idea, because the more I can pop blinding light. Hmm. But I think it'd be better if I just get the second stage of it. You know, I'll figure that out in a second. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Uh, I went better than last time. Last time was pretty stressful. So, um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. This was uh, certainly fun. A little tense. For a second when war me lost almost all his health in about two seconds but it was fun uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a good one and i'll i'll see you guys later um have a good day bye